So today we're going to be making a bench power supply, testing and stuff, from this old ATX power case, power supply. And basically remove these four screws, take off the top, quite good on this one, you've got all your, all your outputs and voltages and amperages basically once we've done that we've got on to the next step I'm gonna add where is it I'm gonna add a USB port to mine I've already started cutting the hole where that's gonna go it's gonna fit in the back there so we've got USB output um, and what else we're going to do? We're going to add some. We're going to add a 12 volt output as well. Um, basically, just for plugging in uh, screens and things that run on 12 volt. And some of the outputs I'm going to leave some of these connectors on. Things like hard drives, things like that. Um, and then that's really it. I'll show you about the wiring next. Right, so <coughs> basically I've wired the USB. I've drilled that, screwed that into there. I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, that goes to the purple and one of the blacks. See the colours very well. The purple wire to the positive, and also one of the blacks for the negative. Uh, the grey wire for the, I think it's the 220 ohm resistor. I can't remember. But uh, yeah, you can find out the resistor value you need for your LED. Um, the grey wire goes to the resistor, then into an LED, and then obviously to another black for ground. And that should light up when all the voltages are correct. The green wire, connect that to another one of the blacks, another negative, and that grounds it out to tell the to tell the circuit inside that it's connected to something basically to start it up so that it gives all the other outputs. So then I've cut off the majority of the connectors, the main one. Got a 12 volt there that I'm going to connect up. Obviously, I'll solder these connections and heat shrink them. That goes to a 12 volt power adapter. The others, I've left some of these on. Let's get the light a bit. Left some of these on so you've got hard drive, uh, floppy drive, whichever I needed to. So you can get like the USB adapters that use the same connector. I'm going to splice this uh, SATA power connector onto there instead of one of these ones so that I can power a SATA hard drive if need be. So the other thing, I've drilled and screwed a six point connector block onto there. You can use any kind of connectors, so I just chose to use a connector block because it's easier. So basically once that's all, these are all soldered up, heat shrinked to insulate them. And then we'll tidy that up a bit. Uh, I'll put cable ties around and everything, keep them all out of the way so everything can stay cool. And then all the wires that I've cut off there, off the main connector, will connect into here so you'll have your 12 volt positive 12 volt negative 5 volt positive 5 volt negative 3.3 volt and your main ground and then we can label them up on there afterwards so I'll do that next so here it is pretty much finished <coughs> um, obviously got all the 
connectors there, all knocked out. USB down there. Obviously, power going in the back. There's actual main switch on this one. Some of them are the uh, And obviously, I've kept all these on for testing power drive and stuff. Just get all your connectors there. It's another good one, 12 volts. Uh, and then I've got that lead. Should be as well before. All tidied up, cable tied. And then if we switch it on, let's switch this switch out there. Nice little blue LED just above the USB socket. I'll just put these USB powered speakers. Plug them in, show that the USB is working. So USB power. For those power outlets, all those testing hard drives, etc. Brilliant little bench testing power supply. Dead easy and cheap. Incidentally, as a little side note, the SATA hard drive power connector that I've in there. That came from a old, uh, old Skybox, Sky HD box that I took apart. There's power supply gone, so there's no point keeping that. I took that out. Anyway, as I was taking that out, I noticed that there's a separate little USB port that you can pop out, it just comes out one little screw. So for another project, dead easy because you can just make a little plug, plug straight onto there. Or solder onto them pins, but it's easy to just put a plug on there. So I'll be using that. 